Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to The Silburn Show. Coming up today, we are joined by a lawyer who practices both here in the UK and in Jamaica and is the founder of the Caribbean Day Movement International. That's all coming up on the show. Welcome to The Silburn Show. Joining us today, we have Hamilton Daly. He has held an illustrious career as a lawyer, both in the UK and in Jamaica, and is the founder of the Caribbean Day Movement International. But before I go there, I want to talk about, Brit, about the EU referendum and the whole drive for the UK to Brexit out of the EU. Of course, you know by now that the result is that they're out. Now, at the same time, in the Caribbean, we have CARICOM, Someone who say it's somewhat similar to the EU, whereby it is a block. The EU is a block. Now, today, I'm going to actually speak to Hamilton at some point about the implications about CARICOM with the EU, and also, is there any way or any similarities? Can a Jamaican, uh, can Jamaica or one of the Caribbean country, Brexit CARICOM as well, as our the UK Brexit the EU? And today, Ladies and gentlemen, as I said before, we are joined by Hamilton Daly. Hamilton, how are you doing, sir? I'm fine, thank you so much. Thank you for joining us. I've been wanting to speak to you for a while since the whole EU referendum because there's a similarity, because your organization is wanting to have a Caribbean day. That's right. And I think about CARICOM and I think about the EU. Of course, there may not be links, but there are some similarities which we'll touch on later. Tell us a little bit about Caribbean Day Movement International, its forging principles, and what's the aim of the movement? Caribbean Day Movement International is a social media-based movement mm -hmm. which was intending, and the, the, the objective of it is to realise a Caribbean Day internationally um, across the, the, the re Caribbean region, mm -hmm. I mean the, in the US, for Carib people of Caribbean heritage, in Canada and um, in the UK. Yes. Um, the principle of it is similar to a St. Patrick's Day for the Irish community mm -hmm. or a Thanksgiving Day for the for, for American community. Um, the Caribbean community don't have a day. Yes. Um, whereas other ethnic and religious groups do, and it's it, the social media network mm -hmm. allows this now for you to communicate yeah. globally. To, to spread this type of message that you wouldn't have been able to do before. So when you made the, the comparison there with um, Ireland, yes. the Irish St. Patrick's Day, yes. and also July the 4th, yeah. we're talking about two separate countries. One yes. is Ireland and one is America. Correct. But Caribbean Day comprises of many different Caribbean countries. Um, you're forging, you're, you're bringing them together. That's your dream. That, that, that is, that's the dream. Mm. And, uh, it's correct to say St. Patrick's Day originates from Ireland, yes. but St. Patrick's Day is celebrated by Irish people everywhere. everywhere. And I, I recall an experience I had in 2007 when I was in Jamaica, mm -hmm. and I met a family who was there for 2007 Cricket World Cup. Yes. And there were three brothers, and they had three sons at different ages. One was from Ireland, one was from the US, and one was from Canada. Mm -hmm. And they... On the 19th of March, I think it was in 2007, they had a great party. They celebrated St. Patrick's Day in Jamaica, yes. and I witnessed that. Mm -hmm. And I thought the families of these men and boys, wherever they are in Canada and the US and, and Ireland, are celebrating St. Patrick's Day as well. Mm -hmm. And that was a fantastic unifying mm -hmm. um, concept. But also at the same time, uh, and, and I recognize where you're coming from with that, whereby they came together, but would you say that Caribbean countries, i.e. Jamaica, 1962 was Independence Day? Yes. Would you consider Independence Day as, if, if, if Jamaica was supposed to have a day, would it be a Diaspora Day or an Independence Day? I mean, St. Lucia, the Caribbean countries, when they um, got um, independence, would you call that the day? It's the day to mark the independence of yes. that country. Yes. It's not the day to mark, and it's not an issue of heritage, which is what Caribbean Day is about. Yes. Caribbean yes. Day is about 
heritage. Yes. It's about um, what our children's children can be yes. when they are born overseas. Mm -hmm. Because if you're not born in Jamaica, you, you, it's a difficult stretch to say you're a Jamaican. Yes. So what okay. heritage do we leave for our children? Because what used to be important is that in the Windrush era, which is when the, when the mass emigration started yes. to the UK, for instance, there was the, the, the parents of those uh, that generation said the most important thing is that my child must have a good education, yes. then they'll be on their way. Mm -hmm. But at this generation, we have to not only educate our child by sending them to, to schools, mm -hmm. but we also have to give them heritage. It's our responsibility to pass down heritage yes. so that when we get onto the third, fourth, fifth, sixth generation, distance does not make them distance mm -hmm. from their heritage, from where they begin. So the Caribbean Day is a way to sort of bridge that gap, is that what you're saying? But what, is, what would you say then are the common issues within Caribbean countries at large facing in the modern day? And how do you see us or see this movement overcoming and setting the Caribbean as a contender on the world stage in terms of economics? And why I say that is because to have a Caribbean Day, one would say there must be a Caribbean bloc, a Caribbean movement, a Caribbean strong economic factor, i.e. CARICOM. I'm just putting that out there. Would you say that? It's, to have a Caribbean day doesn't require mm. a, a, a CARICOM. We would like CARICOM to be leading on this issue. Yes. And we and CARICOM have been invited to lead on this issue. Right. But it's similar to something like um, Black Friday, the shopping phenomenon, yeah. which happens because people want it. Mm -hmm. Now, there is six million people um, in the English speaking Caribbean. Yes. And there's at least six million outside living in the US and they're, they're, they're children, children, and this goes on forever. It's, it's generations infinitum saying they, we have a heritage. We have a heritage in the, in the, in the Caribbean. Yes. And it was Marcus Garvey who said, a people who, who, who without knowing their, their history yeah. and their origin, and their heritage is like a tree without, without roots. roots. Mm -hmm. And if we do not give this to our children, not just the education, the education mm -hmm. was the past generation. This generation, we give them the education yes. and we give them the heritage. Yes. And this is an opportunity to do that. So therefore, how are then you're forging the way in making this happen? What, what has been the support? How has been the support? Uh, you said something which I picked up on. You would like CARICOM to lead the way. Mm -hmm. Is there blockage or there obstacles? Is there anything that we can do to, uh, to push the, the agenda? Well, the, the, this, the, the, just being here on, on this show mm. is, is, is doing something. And, yes. and we thank you for the, for, for the exposure and the opportunity yeah. to speak to so many yeah. um, people of Caribbean heritage yes. now today. Um, Caribbean has been slow to respond to our communication to them. Mm. And uh, CARICOM is, it would, would seem to be a talking shop for for governments, between mm. governments, and a, a movement like ours who will gather space because it's about awareness. The more people know about Caribbean Day, the more people agree with it. And they yes. say, well, yes, we haven't got anything. And yes. what would it mean culturally? Where, where are we passing on our heritage? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because it's our responsibility to pass mm -hmm. on, not just education, mm -hmm. because the, ch the children will not learn about their heritage. That's not the school's responsibility, yes. that's the parents' responsibility. You know, that is something I say a lot of times when I see persons having a go at the educational system in the UK for not teaching black history. Right. And I always say that personally, I think we have a responsibility to teach black history to our children. Yes. And I'm not saying that the educational system should not yeah. contribute, but, prim but primarily, I believe that we have that fundamental responsibility. So I'm agreeing with you at a point there. Yes when you say about, we need to teach our children the history and the legacies yes. of the Caribbean, yes. And, and absolutely, and, we, and the, the opportunity to do this, I mean, it doesn't take um, creating classes for your child and say, so yeah. come here, I want to tell you something about, you know, where your grandparents come from. Yeah. They might not be interested, mm. but if you make it exciting, you make it engaging, and you, you make it an opportunity where people can join in with church services on the day or, mm. or affairs or carnivals or what, whatever they wish to do on a, a Caribbean day, but to mm. have nothing that recognizes the journey of mm. the Caribbean, to have yes. no recognition yes. in the world. Yes. 
I, I, I'm, I can see where you're coming from, um, and I hope people can see, because um, in the UK here, for argument's sake, uh, I'm sure there are many African days, if anything. Mm -hmm. But in light of what is happening now, especially in the UK, with a lack of sometimes identity mm -hmm. of black people from the Caribbean, it would be good for something like a Caribbean day to sort of galvanize us, pull us together, playing cricket, having a special occasion. Are you going to have an event soon? Is there an event coming up? We, we, the, the movement is creating the opportunity right. for commerce. Yes. So if you have a day which will, like a Valentine's Day, the, yes. the global economy for Valentine's mm -hmm. Day is, is 30 billion. The global economy for Christmas Day is 400 billion. Wow. Global economy for Black Friday is 51 billion. That mm -hmm. only started in 2009. Yes. So if we had a Caribbean Day which attracted commerce and econo mm -hmm. economics, to, um, economics to the Caribbean, yes. it would open opportunities to engage in commerce and that's, it, it creates opportunities. So we ha but we have to have the day first and we have to have the community mm. at least knowing about it because yes. we've not had any pushback on this. Yes. If, the, if people know about it, they will join in, they will yes. say, I mean, because it's, it's our response. This generation has to now do something to uplift the next yes, generation. Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, please let me hear your views. Should there be a Caribbean day and why a Caribbean day? What are your views? Please subscribe and um, I mean, make an, uh, what should I say? Type something below, you know where to type it, right? Um, the European Union sometime, one of the criticisms is that it's unelected bureaucrats who are actually telling the British people what to do. So they are a bit peed off and it's the reason why 17 million voted out. Now in the Caribbean with CARICOM, I think I read one country or whatever was talking about Brexiting the CARICOM. Yeah. Would you see any similarities in the structure of CARICOM and the European Union? Well, there is similarity in the structure because <coughs> anything CARICOM closely copied what mm. the European Union on elected done. bureaucrats as well. Well, well, no, <laughs> not an elected bureaucrat because Sorry. CARICOM doesn't have the executive um, authority yes. that um, the EU has. The EU made laws, and the, yes, in yes. Britain they found well, what's this now? We can't, you know, we have to have bananas yes. at a certain mm. length. Um, in, in CARICOM, they're, they're, they're not very effective at talking to people. Yes. They talk between themselves at the top and they do achieve things. They but do achieve things. They do achieve things. <coughs> they do, they do, they, they, we they, mean getting their name in the minutes? Uh, no way. Well, 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 it might feel that way. <laughs> Absolutely. It will, will feel that yeah. way. And, and because they are not elected either, CARICOM is not an elected organization yes. like EU, but, and, but unlike the EU, they don't have any executive authority. So right. you don't get anything coming down from CARICOM saying, well, telling well us what to, yes, telling, telling us what to yeah. do. So that they almost feel ineffectual to the ordinary man on mm. the street in whether it's been Kingston or Kingstown mm. or, or um, Rosé or um, the, the, the other places, yeah. Bridgetown. Or. So, so tell me then, um, do you see then the, the whole talk and the whole discussion about Caribbean countries want to leave CARICOM? That's really a fallacy to a certain extent. It's because really and truly they're not tied to CARICOM. No, they're not, there is a treaty, yeah. there's a treaty, Sharo there, mm. is, there is a treaty, so they are in, tied in an agreement, as yes. it were. Freedom of movement. A freedom well. of movement, Caribbean single market economy. But some of it is not happening because, of course, people yes. are getting like it, my it, it is not yeah. perfect, it mm. is not perfect, um, um, but it, it is better than nothing. Yes. Um, it, it, I'd suggest that it would be... Um, an undesirable mm. situation to have no CARICOM. Right. Now tell us now, how can we then push the Caribbean day then? What, what, what's, what's a key um, word that you want to share with the viewers about the impact of Caribbean day? What message would you like to share? The, the, we started from a situation in particularly bl black history mm. or, or um, African uh, African Caribbean history, yes. um, put it that way, which, um, where the most important thing back in the days 200 years ago was just to stay alive. Mm -hmm. Then we evolved to a situation where the most important thing was to get freed. Yes. And then when you got freed, the most important thing was to have access to education. I was going to say to stay free. To stay free. <laughs> and 
and, and access to education, mm. access to education for our children and all that. So by the time you get to the 60s, yes. parents from the Caribbean, you want the most important thing, freedom plus education, then my children will go on to something mm. better, better than I could have ever achieved. Yes. But now we are in this generation and we have got some responsibility. We can't just be taking, taking, taking. Now yes. we have to lift up the next generation. Yes. And how we do this, we ensure the education, but we say there's some history to how we got here. Mm -hmm. And it's not on the curriculum. As you know, you can learn about Eden Britain, you can learn about Diwali, you can learn about St. Patrick's mm -hmm. Day, New Caribbean Day, nothing about the, how the uh, Caribbean community enriched mm -hmm. Britain, was there for the First World War, Mm -hmm. with the West Indian Regiment, was there for the Second World War, mm -hmm. came back to build Britain after it was bombed. Yes. No recognition of the 1st of August, which by the way is the British Parliament's pronunciation of emancipation in okay. 1834. Nothing in 200 years. Right. So no one's going to give us this. We, we're going to have to own it. Mm -hmm. And when we own it, it'll have cultural significance. It'll have significance to the heritage what our ch children identify yes. themselves yes. as. Mm -hmm. Not just, we'll take them back to the Caribbean so that they, mm -hmm. they know where they're coming from or yes. they know where their granny comes from. Yeah. That's not good enough. We've got more responsibilities now. Our turn, it's got economic impact. What a Caribbean day will attract commerce to the Caribbean. Yes. By Caribbean people here saying, well, you know what? We're gonna have a Caribbean meal. Mm -hmm. Can't have a Caribbean meal without Grenada spices. Yes. Can't have a Caribbean meal, you, the other, nationalities and races will try out a Caribbean dish. Do you find then, uh, this struggle then between the different Caribbean islands and working together? The, 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 I'm glad you asked that question. Mm -hmm. And I traveled um, on a tour mm -hmm. last month and with my team, my Caribbean team. And we went through Antigua, we went to St. Kitts, yes. St. Lucia, St. Vincent, Grenada, Dominica. Mm -hmm. um, I, I, I think I've got all of them there. Yes. Um, and one, I, I, I spoke to someone, it was in Grenada, and they said to me, it was one of the directors of, um, I shouldn't mm -hmm. identify. Yes. But they said to me, there is a thing in the Caribbean, almost like a plantation mentality. Yes. And the weirdest thing about that concept is that when the slave ships dropped off slaves on the islands mm -hmm. as part of the trade, yes. lots of families were split up along the way. Right. And there are races in the Caribbean on the islands who, when they go to New York, they're not identified as being from any plantation mm -hmm. because they look a certain way. Yes. And if they, you go to Trinidad and they look a certain way and they go to any other country, they're not specifically says, well, that's all I am. Mm -hmm. So it's something that our people, when I say that, African people yes. of the African Caribbean yeah. region, needs to really widen their minds. So. Okay, so, so therefore, I, I can see clearly where you're going and um, there's a clear need for the identity factor as well. The Commonwealth plays a role, though, as well. Mm -hmm. I, I, is there some liaison with the Commonwealth Secretariat? It, it, the Commonwealth includes, of course, other countries like Canada and, and, and yeah. lots of African countries. But, but they got the arms to the Caribbean side of the Commonwealth at the same time. There, there is yeah. there is part of the Cam there's mm -hmm. the, the, the there's Caricom there's the Association of Caribbean States, yeah. which include countries that have mm. are along the, the Caribbean basin, yes. like even including Mexico yes. in that. Um, there, there are other um, organizations yes. which, which will touch on um, the Caribbean yes. and not just CARICOM. CARICOM represents 15 states, but they are, they, they are um, an encompassing organization mm -hmm. where if you, I would hope you send a letter to CARICOM, yes. they should at least filter out so the others mm -hmm. know about it. So in that way, otherwise you have to write 15 letters. Okay, fantastic. Well, listen, um, Hamilton Daly, I want to thank you so much for coming on the show and thanks for that. And I'm sure this is whetting the appetite of many people as to what Caribbean Day is about, because I do recall the first time I started seeing all these messages and mm -hmm. it has built up ever since. But before we go, give me a word that, or a motivational word that you'd like to share. I always ask guests, um, some inspirational word for the viewers. This is the Caribbean Day mantra. Yes. Everyone, everywhere, 
one day, 1st of August, is Caribbean Day. So repeat again. Everyone, one. everywhere, one day, 1st of August, is Caribbean Day. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, 1st of August is Caribbean Day. Sir Hamilton Daly, thank, thank you, you so much for much joining the show. And ladies and gentlemen, to find out more about Hamilton Daily and Caribbean Day Movement International, visit our website at silborn.com. Thank you to our viewers for joining us. And remember to share, like, and subscribe our YouTube channel. And always comment on Silborn TV, as well as our other social media platforms on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Thank you for watching, and see you next time on The Silborn Show. <laughs> Hi, thanks for watching our video. If you like what you see, Please subscribe to my YouTube channel and share and like and don't forget to comment but first subscribe. Hello, this is Hamilton Daly of Caribbean Day Movement International. I've just been on the Silburn Show. Please like and subscribe. He's a true friend of Caribbean Day. Thank you. Good. Thank you for joining us Hamilton. Thank you. Good, good. Welcome to the show. I, I can't do it again James. All oh, right. okay. Yeah. <laughs>